Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today we are going to question the answer. If and we can take a pump, a pressure pump, and turn it into a vacuum pump. Recall, boys and girls, in the previous video, my darling sweet chickadee showed us how this pump works before we were so rudely interrupted by a cake break. <laughs> so this pump internally has clearances. And in order to seal those clearances, you need oil in there. The oil actually provides some sealing. The viscosity of the flow of oil provides sealing in here. So now we're talking about a vacuum. That means pumping air, pumping air out of a, a, a vessel. So how are we going to get this to pump air when we know that the clearances are such that it won't seal up? Air is not viscous enough in order to seal this pump, so it'll just rotate free. Now, the beauty part about these trochoidal pumps, they're self-priming. So for every rotation, there's a defined uh, change in geometry. So there's a suction and a, a blow-in. <laughs> so as long as, and it doesn't matter, it, it has to displace fluid, it has to. So it doesn't matter if that fluid is air or oil, but what does matter is the oil needs to be in there in order to seal the internal clearances. Now, of course, because there is a seal and there's porting, we need to go out through the indoor or in through the outdoor, not the vice versa. And we also need to rotate in the correct direction because uh, for a long-term relationship goal, you never want her to go from suck to blow or from blow to suck. I never got that one straight. Click. Ah, Us old bulls in the crowd will recognize that as a marital bone of contention. I swear it's one way. She swears it's t'other. That's the one drawback to marrying a good woman. She's more than a match for yours truly. Honor and obey, says I. Honor and obey, says she. Contractual obligations dictate that there's a quid pro quo. Question mark, says I. Honor and obey. Whatever happened to get on her and stay on her, says she. Now that's more like it. Remind me again, baby doll, what we were bickering about. Okay, we got the vacuum gauge and we got the noozle on the who's. Now we're going to take a syringe. We could make a mess with this, but since we were just uh, at the animal supply store, the farmer's farm all supply store, you pick these up. They're super useful just for having for shit you don't even think of. While well, you're in there anyway, buying Cipro. To spike your fiance's smoothie because you gave her the clap. Now, <laughs> eating mighty high on the hog here. I know I should be using some old used gear lube, but I intend to get laid this decade. Something about ladies don't like to smell a burnt gear lube. I don't know what it is. Smell of money, am I right? <laughs> okay, so we have a cushion of oil in, in the hose, and then we have uh, what do you call this thing? A gauge. And then we got the pump. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actuate the pump with a cordless drill. Key or intact. Hmm. wonder if I'm going the wrong direction. There we go. That's better than our Venturi. This time we got a wee ball valve in order to block in the pressure, or block in the vacuum, or block out the suck. I see a problem here is we're gonna be limited by the volume of oil that we can pump. So in this case, we can, only, we can only vacuum out, we can only uh, discharge the air out of uh, a volume uh, receptacle equivalent or roughly proportional to the amount of oil what is contained in this hose. So I wonder if we can get away with not using any oil at all. I loosened this off and pumped all the oil out of her. I'm going to tighten this back up and see if it still produces a vacuum. It's 
So that's pretty amazing. There's no oil in the line, just residual, and that's still enough to seal it up. So I think, I think we're gonna have really good luck with the grease. I'm gonna try this valve compound. It's not, well, it's grease, but it's silicone based, so it's inert and it's very tacky. That's part of the beauty of using this, is when you stick it to uh, O-rings and, and valves and stuff, it sticks in there. Okay, now let's give that a try. Well, quite a bit thicker. We might need to put the dick and the vice in the dick and the vice. Well, that's just fucking amazing. Okay, let's, uh, oh, that's cute and all, proof of concept. Let's see if we can actually do some useful work by evacuating this pressure vessel. Holy shit, it's working. All right, deadly boys. Minus 21 below atmospheric. Ah, that is, stick that in the top shelf of your memory palace. That right there is gonna earn me a hell of a lot of cases of beer from the that'll never fucking work crowd. That's incredible, man. These things are cheap as chips. You get one of these from the usual scumbags for 30 bucks if in your local getting spot don't have them for free 99. Any industry's got gear pump, all, all kinds of little pumps just sitting there not doing nothing. If and you need a vacuum, a lot of times, in the industrial setting, it's hard to find uh, a, a vac pump, but it's super easy to find a hydraulic pump. So you can use the two packer full of grease, grab yourself a, a drill. Well, you don't know until you know, and there you go. Now you know. I'll, uh, this is an incredible trick to uh, MacGyver myself out of a tight situation. You find yourself in a dilly of a pickle, you pull this one out of your ass, you <laughs> instantly go up a rung or two among the graybeards. Who knew? Fuck yeah! Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.